Hi friends, my name is Borodante. I'm up for some epic stuff, so let's paint Red Angel. Pale white skin, black eyes and hair, and red giant wings and red clothing. That's what I have in mind. Also, the sky will be kind of apocalyptically ominous. I don't know what that means yet, but let's figure it out. Okay, so if the main thing will be red, then the sky should be kind of like the opposite to it, to complement. Maybe this kind of thing. Okay, let's see. Let's start with the thumbnail again. That worked out pretty well last time, although the anatomy and all was super epic. But this time we can spend some time on the anatomy since it's just one character. I won't go dead after doing it. So there will be some sort of end of the rock, maybe. And the angel is kinda like here, in midair, of course. Also, I wanna make him like of unidentified gender. Kinda like in the middle, between male and female. I think that only fits for angels. Okay, maybe a bit smaller, cause we need some space for the wings. So, here you are. Here's your trapezius. Kind of, um, a bit weird alien-like anatomy would fit. Like, the proportions would be more or less human, maybe a bit taller, but the muscles would be a bit... I don't know, let's see. But right there, this the neck should be long and with strong, profound muscles. I feel like it's gonna look pretty cool. Cool silhouette, like uh, wings, and then they continue in the strong neck looks cool. Uh, okay, we need to think on the clothing right away. Looks like he's also wearing a red diaper. Okay, so the clothing. I have no idea. Something with a very wide color, kind of like this. Nah, pants are stupid. Angels don't wear pants. Let's do a long stripe of clothing going right here to cover his chain. Although, if you've seen the movie Dogma, you know that they don't have much to cover. Oh yeah, I like this idea, it kinda creates a cool composition from all these long stripes of clothing in here. A nice thing to play with. Fuck, how do we cover the legs? It looks ridiculous right now. Okay, so now he's wearing yoga pants. We'll see. Let's make some kind of wreath on the head. Like a laurel wreath. But not laurel, some kind of unknown plant wreath. Okay, let's continue in color, because this looks like crap. Okay, well, background is kind of epic, I think, I like it. Now let's search the colors for the angel. Colors are kind of cool. Not sure about the pants though. <laughs> Still don't like 
the slack. That's it, I decided to get rid of the yoga pants. Now it's some kind of a weird monster growth on his legs, which looks way better. Oh yeah, this is looking kind of cool. Well, let's do the same thing on the handstand. It would be kind of weird to neglect. Air perspective is saving details, otherwise that rare red piece of cloth would completely melt together with the leg. It's just important not to overdo it. Okay, this wing is not really working out at this weird shape. I wanted to make it kind of like a bit hovering, like changing the direction because it's pointing forward towards the camera and kind of like bending a bit, but I can't pull that off. Or can I? Let's try rebuilding it completely. I have faith. So it's pointing at us. Man, this one's hard. Well, it's better than this one. Still needs more definition. Now, let's do the third attempt. To paint a wing, you should be the wing. There we go, we're getting somewhere now. Yeah, this kind of feels alright now. Except for this part, of course. Right. Well, yeah, this is a save. Let's add a little bit of black feather in this area, because we can. Okay, let's do the face, finally. Oh, and also I thought, let's make this... Um, metallic thing not on his head but as a as a halo kind of like circling around his head like this that would be cool no i want it to be more over his head and at smaller angle kind of like almost horizontal get a real squish of the brush Okay, this will do. Now for the face, finally.
Okay, that's it for the face. That took a lot longer than I expected. Uh, for some reason, decided to finalize it a lot. I don't know, it's more or less okay. The neck is not. I looked from the distance and the lighting on the face turned out to be too high contrast, which really broke the whole picture. Like the face is not there. Decided to even out the shadows on the cheekbones. Now let's turn the silhouette of the foot into a foot. Done! Just made myself to stop because it's four hours already and it's just one character. Well, turned out pretty cool, I like it. Some obvious fixes and we're done. Cool wings, looking cool from uh, the distance and almost everywhere looking good in a close-up. I love these bristly brushes that I have. They are saving the speed painting so much. Because I can just leave these kind of strokes and they're fine. If it would be something smooth, it would look horrible. And this way is kind of cool. So, now we know why artists use these weird bristly brushes. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Well, this is pretty awesome. Red Angel. I had kind of like a thought. Red is like, um, well, any angel is some sort of in certain way the opposite of a ghost because the ghost is some kind of like an imprint of emotion or feeling in this world some kind of entity stuck in one feeling forever and angels are the opposite because they are the origin of the feeling like there's all kinds of angels depending on what people are obsessed with or just pay their love and emotions to. There's angels of love, angels of war, angels of agony, angels of making selfies with a duck face, all kinds of angels. And this one is the red angel. It's kind of a non-verbal thing. Like, he's not good or bad, he is representing the, um, the passion, the blood, the explosion of emotions, as in love, or lust, or anger. He's a part of revolution, he's a part of war, he's a part of husband killing his wife because of jealousy, a part of people being obsessed with anything. When any sort of obsession, good or bad, becomes extreme and dangerous. So that's why he has the color of blood. Blood is like an inside out of a human soul something like that i hope i'm making any sense at all but this is what this guy is about so yeah this was the red angel and i thank you for watching if you did i guess you did if you're here love a like and subscribe tell a friend calm down do whatever you want but calm <laughs> and i will see you in the next one bye